I have a cousin who has become an atheist. I tried to change him. I sent him some of your videos to answer his questions. He asks, if you believe in the existence of God, what difference does it make to have faith or not? If I don't believe in God, will I be dead? You believe in God and you have two legs, two hands, two eyes, working just fine. I don't believe in existence of God and everything works just fine to me. You live and die, I live and die too. What difference does it make? This is the question he asked me. Inshallah, I'll be waiting for a reply. The question posed by his cousin who has come close to atheism is that what is the difference in an atheist and a Muslim? You are a Muslim, you believe in God, you have two eyes, you have two hands, you have two legs, you live and you die. The other person is an atheist, he has two eyes, he has two hands, two legs, he lives and he dies. Even though he doesn't believe in God, he lives and he dies. So what's the difference? What's the difference between you and the atheist? Why should a person believe in God? Allah says in the Quran, and a Muslim believes in that, in Surah Mulk, chapter number 16, verse number 2. Allah khalaqal mawta wal hayata. It's Allah who has created death and life to test which of you is good in deeds. And for a Muslim, the path to success is given in Surah Al Asr, chapter number 103, verse number 1 to 3. We say, Wal Asr, Inna insan fi khusr, illa ladin amanu, wa amilu salihati, wa tawa sobil haqqa tawa sobil sabr. That by the token of time, man is well in a state of loss, except those who have faith, those who have righteous deed, those who exhort people to truth, that do dawah and islah, and those who exhort people to patience and perseverance. So these are the minimum four criteria for any human being to go to Jannah. This is the belief of the Muslim. Now, let us compare a Muslim to an atheist. And hypothetically, I agree with you that there is an atheist. He has two hands. He has two eyes, two legs. He lives and he dies. A Muslim has two eyes, two hands, two legs. He lives and he dies. What's the difference? If he doesn't believe in God, Muslim believes in God. There is no difference at all. Now let us analyze both the cases separately. And there are two situations. One is life living in this world and one is life after death. <coughs> now there is an atheist who believes there is no God and he leads his life. He may have alcohol, he may do zina, he may cheat, he may rob, he may not do whatever it is. And he thinks he's enjoying life. A Muslim, he doesn't have alcohol, he doesn't cheat, he doesn't gamble, he's very honest. He thinks he's right, and he thinks the atheist is wrong. Atheist thinks he's right, and the Muslim is wrong. Now, as far as this world is concerned, there was a survey done that who, which type of human beings are the most satisfied? Of which type of human being are the happiest. And this survey was done by a Christian in the University of Germany. And according to that survey, it said that those human beings who believe in God are more satisfied and more happy than those human beings who don't believe in God. So in short, this survey done by a non-Muslim and in the University of Germany, it proved that when the survey was done in 27 different countries, everywhere it showed that the human beings who believed in God, they were more happier than the atheist. The level of happiness kept on changing in different countries depending upon the situation, depending upon economical condition, depending upon the facility. But in that same country, most of the time, those who believed in God were more happy than those who did not believe in God. Amongst those who believed in God, the Muslims were more happier 
than the Christians or than the Hindus. So this survey was done by a non-Muslim. So the question is, the person who is an atheist, he does not believe in God, but he is not happy. As compared to a person who is a Muslim who believes in God, he is more happy. So what is the difference? This is the difference. Who says that? A scientific research. So, as far as the life in this world is concerned, undoubtedly, the Muslim is benefiting more than the atheist. Now coming to the next scenario, life after death. In life after death, there can be four scenarios. Two scenarios for the atheist, two scenarios for a Muslim. An atheist who doesn't believe in God, he dies. And after dying, he realizes there is no God. So fine, there is no plus, no negative. But if after dying, the atheist realizes that there is God, what will happen to him? In his next life, he will be in hell. For the Muslim, he believes in God. After dying, he realizes hypothetically there is no God. We know there is God. I have given a talk on is the Quran God's word. And I had given in Kuala Lumpur this talk in 2016. The talk was for more than two and a half hours and the question and session was four hours. The full program was the longest public program of mine in the world. It was for more than six and a half hours. And the talk was for more than two and a half hours in the Bukajali Stadium in where there were more than 50,000 people. And there I have proved undoubtedly in the talk is the Quran God's word that the existence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I proved it logically, I proved it scientifically. So without doubt I can prove the existence of Allah. But hypothetically agree we don't know. So when a Muslim dies and hypothetically agree with you if there is no God, what will happen? Nothing. He will be the same position as the atheist who believe there is no God. But if there is God, what will happen? He will go to heaven, he will go to Jannah. So in life after death, there are four scenarios. For atheist, when he dies, if he realizes there is no God, no benefit for him, no loss for him. But in the Akhirah, who is happy? A Muslim is more happy. So who is better of the two? The Muslim. If after that he realizes there is Allah and there is Allah and I have proved it scientifically, everyone will come to him after their eye, inshallah. What will happen? He will be in hellfire forever. So he, benef he is a loser in this world as well as in the hereafter, double loser. For a Muslim, if he dies and if he realizes there is no God, which is not the case, but hypothetically yet, he is benefiting in this world. He was at least more happy according to the research than an atheist. But after he dies, he realizes there is God and that is a fact which I have proved in my talk and my answers. What will happen? He benefits in the Akhirah. He will be in Jannah. He will be in Jannah Firdos, the highest level for eternity. So he is benefiting in this world. He is more happier than atheist. In the next world, he is in Jannah or in Jannah Firdos. So the question is, atheist doesn't believe in God. He has two eyes, two hands, two legs. He lives and he dies. What is the difference? A Muslim has two eyes, two hands, two legs. He lives and what is the difference? The difference is, for a Muslim in this world, according to scientific research, a Muslim is more happier than an atheist. And a Muslim is more happier than the other people who believe in God as compared to other religion. It's a scientific research. In the Akhirah, I've proved in my talk, scientifically about the existence of life after death that the Quran is the word of God. In year after also Muslim, he will be in Jannah, he will have all the blessings, he will have a peaceful life, all the benefits. The atheist, he will be in Jannah, he will be in hell, he will be burning in hell. So the difference is, we benefit in this world also, the Muslims, and we benefit in the next world also. Inshallah, give this answer to your cousin, and Inshallah, I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, may he comes back to Islam, and he comes on the straight path so that inshallah all of us inshallah can go to Jannah.